In this tutorial number 6 on Vista software, I will show you how to visualize a doped atom in a unit cell. We will consider example of n-type and p-type silica where phosphor and boron are doped at the silica site. So let's go and open the Vista software. Go to the file and click on open. So here in this folder, I have downloaded silica CIF file. If you are new to my channel, then do check out my previous video in which I have shown how to download CIF file from the COD website and also how to get the Vista software for free. Uh, the links are given in the description box. So let's select the CIF file and click on the open. So now here we can see a beautiful unit cell of SR. Okay. Now low, go and click on edit, edit data, click on the phase. And over here we can see the name silica. So let's change this to P silica. Uh, that's a phosphorus silica. Now go to the unit cell and over here you will see the symmetry is cubic and the space group number is 227 with a space group FD minus 3M and it has a setting with 1 and 2 types so type 1. What we need to do is click on the remove symmetry so it will help to remove the symmetry then go and click on the structure parameter. Over here you will see the silica atom with a Cartesian coordinate XYZ so for example first silica has a Cartesian coordinate of 0 0 0 second silica has a Cartesian coordinate of 0, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Now if let's consider example like I want to replace this silica with the phosphor, what will happen? Select the atom, go to the symbol and select the phosphor atom from the periodic table. Okay, and now click on apply. So it will help to replace the four, it will help to replace all the eight corner silica atom with the phosphor atom. Okay, now let's change it back to the silica and select the second silica atom over here the Cartesian coordinate is 0, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 so again go back to the symbol and select the phosphor atom and do the same thing apply so it will help you to replace the silica atom which is located along the face side that is 0, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 location okay over here you can go and change this symbol as a phosphor and apply click ok so in the unit cell we can see now the silica atom has been replaced with the phosphor but there is also the, this phosphor is not connected with any silica atom so how to do that one how to create the bond then go to the file go to the edit click on the bond and over here you will see a bond between silica silica right click on the new and this is silica silica instead of silica choose a2 as a phosphor and apply so it will help to create the bond between silica and phosphor both inside and outside of unit cell click ok now if you want to show just only one unit cell then go and click on the view along a axis okay and then select this white arrow and select the atom and bond which you don't want to show use the delete button on your keyboard and just delete them okay delete and delete now you can click this option standard orientation of the crystal structure now you can see a crystal structure of silica doped with the phosphor let's say i want to change the color of this atom how to do then go to the objective over here you can find the color for silica is a blue and for phosphor is this gray color click on this one and change it to red so the color will be replaced and here second column is about the label so if you click this one it will label the silica atom that is si1 and if you click on the phosphor it will help to label the phosphor atom so i just want to label the phosphor atom in this case now go and click file and export data so you can export this in different file format here i want to export as a cif file and the name is fp sorry name is phosphor silica okay and save now go and click on the edit edit data phase and here we have phosphor silica file that is the current unit set click on the import okay and now we have saved the phosphor silica also so let's open this one and change this name to n silica instead of p change it to n okay now we go to the unit cell okay because we have already removed the symmetry so no problem go to the structure parameter here we have changed second atom with the p now click on the symbol and replace this p with the boron b so that will be n type and change the symbol name as 
B. Okay, then apply. So it will help to create another unit cell. So here, because now we have two phase, right? So it shows a positioning place X, Y, Z of this layer at X, Y, Z of layer zero. Okay, so just go to this one and set number as a 10. Okay, and then apply. So it will help to separate those units cell from each other. Then click on OK. Now we'll go back again. Click on the edit and the bond. So here, this is the first case P silica. The bond is silica phosphor. Okay. Now we need to go to the second that's N silica. And over here we need to create a new one. And instead of silica, we need a boron. Okay. And then click apply. So we got a bond between both phosphor and silica and boron and silica. Okay, click OK. Now go back again and click on the A. So before that, we can also do one more thing. Go and click on the uh, edit, edit data, phase. So we have P silica and silica and we need one more that's a silica. So click on the import and just choose this silicon. Okay, and open. So now we got P and an SI and you can select silica and this time we need to place this one at the place of 20 because like here n is placed at the place of 10 so silica need to place at the 20 and apply okay so we got the three unit cell i click on the a select this white arrow and select the atom which you don't want to show okay so this is these are the unit cell of silica without any doping this is a boron dope and this is phosphor dope so over here you can select the phase so this is p is a phosphor dope this is n type is a boron dope so here i want to label it so it's a boron and if you don't want to show this compass then what you can do go click on style go to the properties in the properties over here you will find the label for access so click just disable those uh, compass and click ok go to click on file and uh, export raster image so we got a different file format over here and if you select the jpg and let's give the name p and and si okay and save in the download folder okay and it will ask for the scale so you can choose any scale if you increase the scale number that's like a multiplication the file size will be bigger and also the resolution will be better so for simply i will click it i will keep it as one and click ok okay export graph has successfully saved okay now again go back and click on the file and export again i will show you what is the difference between the jpg file and the another one that's a png file so select this time png file okay and the name is again same to p and si same but this time it will ask you along with the scale another option that's a let the background be transparent so if you click this one it will help to keep this background as a transparent and click ok Okay, click on this one and it will help to see a 3D way of unit cell. Now let's go back to the download folder. So in the download we have P and silica in the PNG file format. So here you can see the background is transparent in this case. Okay, and if you go to this one, then in this case the background is white color. So I hope through this video you learn how to visualize a doped atom in a unit cell. If it has helped you anyway then do like and don't forget to share and subscribe. Please press the bell icon button so you will be updated with my new videos.